Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. This is the uh, slab that I made a few weeks ago and it has been drying um, in the cellar where it is uh, dry and warm and as you can see the dark grey cement became a whole lot lighter. Now of course when you look at a slab without uh, trees in it you only focus on the slab because there is nothing else to focus on, uh, obviously. Um, so yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad with, with the slab, so don't, don't, don't get it wrong. But I think it can be improved. Um, first of all, I'd like to do some grinding on the, um, on the edges because, well, we have the rocks that have a, a, a shape. And I'd like to have the edges a little more the shape of the rock above it. So I'm going to uh, grind a few little uh, parts away. And then I'm going to try to match the color of the cement with the color of the, um, of the sandstones. And therefore I'm going to use some acrylic paint. Um, in the first video about this lab, some people asked me if, if I was going to seal it. Now, um, I'm not sure that it's really necessary. Could be. Um, so maybe some varnish uh, in the middle section could be a good idea. I don't know. Um, well, anyway, it's not going to do any harm in, in, the, in the summer, but it might be a problem in the winter. So before I plant something in it, I should probably think about that so yeah I'm, I'm not really sure about it so um, I, I have to think uh, what I can do to make it better maybe I'll use some some paint inside it I don't know varnish could be better but then I'll have to go uh, buy some because I don't have any um, but that of course is not a real big uh, an interesting thing so it's just making uh, uh, one or two layers uh, of, of varnish here and then well, okay, so let's come a little closer and see um, which parts I want to grind down and, and why. So you see we have a, a rock that goes this direction and the other rock that comes back to you. So probably a little uh, indentation here will be interesting. Uh, and that's for every rock, you see. So same uh, in the front here maybe maybe here also in this spot uh, well certainly here so maybe I get a little corner out so this is going to be um, well a slow work but it might um, might improve the whole thing you see this is very round here don't like that so maybe get a little piece of here and then a little piece of here so make it a little more irregular so of course um, I'm going to try to get my microphone far away from the grinder and um, I'm going to use some uh, eye protection and of course some uh, ear protection because well um, grinders are loud yeah. so I'm going to start So this is the, the right in hand side that you see now and um, well I'm going to try not to move the camera and uh, get the same zoom so that you see a before and uh, after uh, shot. So I'm going to uh, grind this part now uh, and then um, show you a, a shot after it. So I'm not completely finished here but I think it's already quite obvious that um, hacking in in some of the really uh, round or straight pieces makes it makes quite a difference so i'm i'm going to um continue this but now i i have to turn the the slab on the turntable so uh, i just wanted to make this shot right now so i'm going to uh, go ahead and 
finish this. Now, believe it or not, but I've been grinding for more than an hour here. So it was really um, quite time consuming, much more than I expected. But I'm very pleased with the, with the shape. Now, you see, the, it looks much more like a rock uh, from all sides. You see, this is the round part. It's completely disappeared. And yeah, of course, it's not smooth. You don't want it to be smooth. Um, now I'm going to uh, clean this up a little because it's, uh, it's dusty, so I'm just going to brush it. And then I'm going to see uh, if I can find some uh, acrylic paint and do some uh, paint work. Uh, quite dusty, well, this to be expected. So I'm really not an artist when it comes to painting, but well, anyway, I found a few uh, colors that could match the sand here. And um, well, I think the only thing that I can do is just give it a shot. So I'm going to put a few drops of different kinds of paint. So I have a uh, orange yellow, a brownish yellow. And I also have a little more, uh, well, more, how should I say? Well, it has probably a name, but, okay. So we'll do that. It's more like a uh, flashy yellow. So, I'm trying to mimic the color of the sandstone and I'm not going to use any uh, pure color, so I'm just going to try to give a basic layer of everything. And I'm also going to try to paint some of the sandstone so that the color is blended. <coughs> I think this brown is, is going to be kind of kind of nice. So I'm going to do a first layer all around and hiding the cement and then I'll have to come back and see what it looks like when it's a little drier. So of course it might take some time to dry, so maybe this is a job for, for tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see. So I'm really blending the color on the rock so that I don't have a um, uniform color because it has to look as natural as, as possible of course looks like this technique is working quite well for me, but of course, it doesn't say anything about uh, a, const a construction with, with other stones. Well, I have this yellow that I put in little dots here, and then I have this fantastic color, I think. It's called copper number 603, and this matches the, the the color of the sandstone quite well so I'm blending it in with the with the yellow and then I'm going up the the stones just a little so that 
we have this nice transition between the painted parts and the, and the natural part. So this looks quite nice. Of course you don't want the paint to dry because then you cannot blend it anymore. Yeah, painting is always a little an experience. But I'll show you the other side. I'm almost done there. I think this looks quite good. There's a little more yellow there. So just going to add more yellow to the other side too. Because I've been a little, well, not really sloppy, but working with cement is always a little sloppy. I have some little spots of cement all over the place. So I'm trying to paint them as well. trying to fill up some cracks and things like that. I think I'm almost done now. So, I don't know, what do you think about that? I kind of like it. I think it's better than that grey cement. This is the back. So the whole idea of this sandstone slab uh, is technically that it is possible to mount some more soil here and some less there. Ouch should create a landscape effect. Now I have some uh, spots in the inside that I just want to give a little touch but not a whole lot because well obviously it's going to be soil in here so I don't think that we will ever be able to see the inside of the pot but just some little touches on some cement spots that are visible just to mask it i think i also think that um, when i'm planting something in this i will add some moss and then going to be completely invisible the inside of the pot so these are just some minor details but uh, yeah now that, now that I can access every little spot here it would be stupid not to do it and then I'm going to move this um, in the sun started quite early this morning but now the sun is out and going to prepare a little spot in the sun for two reasons because it's fun to work in the sun and because the light is so much better okay i think i'm done with the painting now so that's what we have now I'm just going to have a look if I can find some varnish to give the interior a uh, little coating so that the water doesn't penetrate into the into the cement or the concrete and um, well that when it uh, freezes in the winter that the concrete doesn't suck up all that water and then becomes um, a little too uh, how should I say? Well, if it becomes very wet, then of course it could explode, which is not what I want. Of course, I, I don't have any experience with these uh, stone or concrete pots. So another possibility, of course, is to remove the planting and put it in a plastic pot for the winter and just save this when it's and replant it when it's not um, freezing anymore 
so that's another possibility I'm not sure uh, if you have any good ideas on that uh, please let me know in the comments it's not that we get a whole lot of severe frost here in Belgium but well it freezes you know we get sometimes minus five degrees Celsius we even had two years in a row where we got to minus 20 it was horrible never had that in my life so yeah climate change is a strange thing okay let's find some varnish found some acrylic varnish here but it looks like it's 200 years old but well okay so just um, <clears throat> just going to put some here I'm going to use the same brush there's no need to ruin different brushes and I'm gonna spread this which should be quick just going to come up to one centimeter over the the surface maybe do some small details in the drainage holes I wonder if I should do the bottom I don't know well so of course I'm not going to bore you with this so I'll be back when this is done so the whole pot is painted well painted varnished and uh, it's going to sit here outside for the rest of the day um, because we have at least three or four hours of full sun here now uh, so that's that's going to be good um, Colin McGovern from uh, the Boston Bonsai Idiot channel asked me what trees I would plant in this so let's have a look here I have a field maple forest that was planted on uh, a whole lot of rocks and well this is the forest that inspired me to uh, to make this slab but sadly two years ago some of these trees died and I think that I have only five living trees but for a small slab like the one that I just uh, made I think five trees will be good so in a week or well three four maybe I can uh, uh, dismantle this whole thing have a good look at everything see what's alive what's dead well I think I know um, you see these things are black here so these are dead this one's alive so this will be the biggest tree probably in the in the new uh, planting well I think there are five um, so five little trees it's gonna be I think quite okay for starters so that's that's what's going to grow in uh, that new pot so it was very nice to work on this slab with sandstones and I hope that it turns out well um, as you see this whole place is well not very attractive uh, at the moment lots of things to do lots of things to take care of some repots but we're in February now and well a few weeks and then I think the repotting season will begin and um, it's gonna be a busy but a fun time. So in the meantime, thank you for watching and see you next time.